Because of low water levels, ruins of the 19th century town of Mormon Island are once again visible. The city of Cocoa Beach is dealing with its canals turning red. Ever found here in the UK, incredible, 10 meters long. But it's actually the biggest prehistoric reptile skeleton ever found here as well, the most complete Ooh. skeleton. And then the next day we came back and we started digging some more and it just kept going. You know, this was a unique and unusual discovery because it had never been found before. It takes years to solve mysteries buried at the bottom. But some Sometimes on some unusual days, things just resolve on their own. That's what this video will show you. Creepy stuff found at the bottom of the canal that will leave you shocked. Unknown footprints. This is a human foot, and this right here are the footprints discovered in Nigeria. I don't think there is a need to describe more, but just for the record, I am telling you that the fossilized prints are almost twice the size of a person's. And see the difference between normal human leg and this foot of a giant. Archaeologists believe that these footmarks were made when the world was still in molten state. Therefore, it is quite hard to figure out the species. They further stated that the prints are still under examination, and they hope to find an answer soon. Rescued Dolphins Not always fossilized remains, but sometimes real living animals can also appear on the canals. Just like here. This dolphin got separated from the pod and ended up in the creek. People noticed the lone creature foraging in the creek for about four days and finally called the rescue team. The rescue workers got creative and formed a human chain to send it back into the river. The plan worked and Izzy the dolphin, who probably was foraging on the wrong side, was rescued. 16th Century Church A 16th century Roman Catholic church, the Temple of Kukla, submerged in a Chiapas, Mexico reservoir since 1966 due to a dam has resurfaced amid drought and heat waves. Previously accessible only by boat, tourists can now explore the church on foot or by vehicle. While visitors are excited, local fishermen express concerns as the receding water adversely affects fish populations, leading to significant losses. Extreme heat in the region has claimed eight lives. This echoes similar occurrences globally, such as a submerged Spanish church reappearing in April and the discovery of another submerged church in Germany this year, highlighting the environmental impact and challenges faced by communities. Underground City While chasing escaped chickens through his basement during renovations, a Turkish homeowner accidentally uncovered the ancient underground city of Derinkuyu. Dating back to the 1960s, the city is over 280 feet below the surface in Cappadocia, central Anatolia. It originally housed 20,000 people. Derinkuyu is the world's largest excavated underground city, connecting to over 200 smaller ones. With 18 levels of tunnels, it features dwellings, food storage, stables, schools, wineries, and a chapel. The city boasts a sophisticated ventilation system, providing residents with fresh air and water, with entrances linking to over 600 modern homes in Cappadocia. And here it is, underneath the man's house. Being visited by hundreds of people and recognized as part of UNESCO National Heritage. Dry Niagara Falls this event dates back to the year 1969, when Niagara Falls was temporarily dried. The drying up was actually part of a study which involved diverting the flow of the Niagara Falls away from the American Falls, intending to determine and assess the effects of erosion. The diversion of water led to the temporary drying up of the American Falls for several months. This event, known as the Niagara Falls dewatering, allowed researchers and the public to observe the geological features beneath the falls. Not only that, but the study also allowed the researchers to work on the preservation and conservation of the falls. Human Footprint Science says that humans set foot on Earth some 6 million years ago. And dinosaurs, they wandered around some 66 million years ago. If that's the case, how would you explain this? a giant and a dinosaur's footprints. This strange discovery was made by a man of Texas, and he claims it to be a sign that humans and dinosaurs used to coexist. But according to skeptics, these alleged footprints are either natural objects that have nothing to do with humans or are deliberate frauds. These tracks are currently under examination, so nothing could be said for sure. 
bison skull. Sometimes it takes days for the archaeologist to discover an ancient animal's remains, while others, guys like this, just stumble upon one on a random day. Good job, Joe. You're welcome. <laughs> Bison's existence can be traced back to 2.6 million years ago, and while the American and European bison still exist today, it is quite rare to find a fully intact ancient bison skull nowadays. And this is just what happened to this man. Not an expert himself, the man decided to take the remains to a lab where they could be studied for further knowledge. Mermaid Remains the guy was out there fishing when he noticed this strange creature floating near the shore. Not sure if it was a fish or not, the guy quickly grabbed it, and that's when he realized it was not a fish, nor something usual. But what actually the thing which suddenly came into his sight was a mermaid skeleton. A tiny mermaid. Watch the small and creepy tail on your own. Shit, what, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? He quickly dropped the skeleton and rushed back. Despite internet users urging him to return and search for the creepy remains, they were nowhere to be found and were never seen again. Secret Path A 23-year-old property developer in Sussex, England discovered hidden passages and rooms in his family's 500-year-old estate. Freddie Goodall spotted a concealed doorway in the library while examining old photos, leading him to uncover a secret room behind a bookshelf. Further exploration revealed underground tunnels and multiple hidden chambers, which are believed to have been servant passages. The mysterious spaces, unnoticed by the landlord, held surprises such as an old safe with books dating back to 1848, school materials from the 1900s, and a chalk-marked brick wall. Godall speculates the passages were used by servants for discreet movement around the property. The homeowner left the property saying there was so much history to be discovered and he did not want to ruin it. Ancient Bridge Submerged in the water for hundreds of years, this bridge came into sight only when the water level of Puyang Lake dropped. Known as the largest freshwater lake of China, the lake has been drying for the past few years due to low rainfall. Just when the water dropped to 9.98 meters down, appeared this ancient bridge, which is about 400 years old. More than 2,930 meters long, the bridge is entirely made of granite, which tells about the civilization of the ancient people. Unknown Animals Remains This man noticed something floating in the well, and the next thing he did was drop his drone into the well. It came back holding a bag. The guy instantly opened the bag, and to his shock, it was filled with bones. What is that? <gasps> Just like most of us, his initial guess was human remains too. However, a quick examination revealed that they were actually the bones of an animal. It probably ended up in the well due to a predatory attack, or some human hunting activity might be behind it. Whatever the reason, it was indeed a strange find. Giant's Prince present in Tanzania. This is the largest fossilized footprint site you are watching right now. The site known as Ingari Saru site in Tanzania, spanning 300 square meters, holds over 400 ancient human footprints in volcanic mud flow from Oldano Lingo Volcano. Dating back 6,000 to 19,000 years, the footprints reveal pathways of at least 20 individuals, mostly adult females. These females are believed to be foraging, as women in the ancient times used to do this. But that's just a guess. Researchers say the facts could only be revealed if they somehow managed to save the prints for more years. Tiny Humanoid Size doesn't matter, especially if it is an alien. Because big or small, it will always be enough to scare people. Yes, I am talking about this bizarre creature. It was spotted near Utah's Area 51 a place already famous for strange discoveries. The woman who spotted the humanoid uploaded the footage online and started an online debate with the majority, calling it an alien. So, true or not? Let me know what you guys think. Dried Canals of Venice The dried canals reveal the impact of the low tides in Venice, making it impossible for gondolas, water taxis, and ambulances to navigate. They underscored the severity of the water, scarcity, and low tide conditions in the city. 
Considering the situation, Italy declared a state of emergency last July due to its worst drought in 70 years. Factors include scanty rainfall, a high-pressure system, a full moon, and sea currents. Italian rivers, especially in the Po, experience a 61% water deficit. Climate experts urge recovery with 50 days of rain needed. Ancient Artifact Another day, another discovery. This time it was a group of teens who stumbled upon a millennium-aged canoe. They were just going for a swim on a North Carolina lake when one of them came across it. Initially thinking of it as a log, it was when the boys decided to continue digging. They realized it wasn't something usual. And I thought it was a log, and I tried to pick it up, and it never came up, so we kept digging at it, and it just kept going. They continuously dig for two days before calling the authorities who claimed it to be a southeastern Indian canoe. And then the next day we came back and we started digging some more. Once they removed the canoe, the authorities sent it to the lab for further examination and preservation. Alien Carcass It's always the abandoned places that hide the creepiest things. Just like here, when a guy spotted this bizarre creature near a drain canal. With only half of its body intact, it looked like an otherworldly creature. And this is exactly what people believe. They called it an alien whose first trip to Earth became its last, and he got abandoned by the side of the canal. Told you, abandoned places are creepy. Oil well. Present in the conflicted side of the Euphrates River, this is a stream of oil. And these people are the local farmers who are concerned about the crops. Why? Because the petroleum liquid could cause a great hindrance in the growth of wheat, which is right now a major concern of Syria. However, it is providing a great opportunity to flourish the country's economy. Authorities are actually planning to refine this brackish, sticky water to be used in vehicles and produce electricity to stabilize the country. Prehistoric Shark A Japanese fisherman experienced a once-in-a-lifetime moment when he discovered a remarkable rare shark ensnared in his fishing line. After bringing the shark on board, it was identified as a living specimen of the prehistoric frilled shark, previously believed to be extinct. These sharks, typically 2 meters in length and dwelling at depths exceeding 600 meters, were considered a significant find for marine biologists. However, despite its value to scientists, the shark held little commercial worth for the fishermen. The eel-like creature adorned with sharp teeth was found in a weakened state, swimming in shallow waters off the coast of Japan, near Shizuka. Unfortunately, it succumbed hours after being brought ashore. Gold Discover what would you do if you accidentally found gold in a river? Well, I would definitely not do what this guy did. He let it rest there, on the surface, for some unknown reason. <laughs> this river is actually the River of the Euphrates, and the gold emerging from its soil is believed to be forbidden in some religions. They believe that this gold will fire a conflict, and that conflict will eventually lead the world to its end. Creepy Doll These guys were having a fun day by the side of the road when one of them made a strange discovery. This dude dived into the water for a nice swim when he came across a storage box. It wasn't looking creepy until the group removed the tapes to open it. And there it was, a strange baby-like doll placed inside it, giving the eeriest vibes to the group who was not sure of the reason behind this strange practice. The group sealed the box again and sent it back into the water for it to remain lost forever. Folsom Lake Last year, California's Folsom Lake, affected by drought, exposed the once-submerged ghost town of Mormon Island. Not just that, it revealed building foundations, artifacts, and remnants of a gold rush area settlement. Originally settled by Mormon battalion members, Mormon Island thrived during the gold rush with a population of 2,500, boasting hotels, saloons, a winery, and shops. Despite a fire leading to its demise, it remains a historical relic of the past. And today, when it is visible again, this place has become a hub for tourists. Voodoo Dolls Not one nor two, but this man spotted several dolls after a canal was drained. 
However, it's not quite unusual to find lost items in a canal, as people sometimes lose them. It was the strange makeover and the strange numbers which surprised the man. He claimed that finding dolls in abandoned places like this means only one thing, that someone has been practicing black magic. Now, I know that voodoo dolls can also be used for religious objects. This guy was determined that if they were serving a superstitious purpose here, what was it? That's something we could never know. Money found. A single nut led the man to this strange discovery. This guy was magnet fishing in an unknown location when his magnet caught this plastic bottle with a nut inside it. But that was not the only thing he found inside that plastic bottle. There was another thing, money. Yep, right after he emptied the bottle, the guy cut it down from the bottom, and there was a dollar along with a couple of lottery tickets. Who put them inside is not known, but the guy believes this could be a spell jar and related to witchcraft. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's another spell jar, dude. That was like a water fridge. There's money in it. It's some lottery tickets. Sunken City. Old Bluffton near Austin, Texas, a 19th century town submerged by Lake Buchanan emerged during a 1984 drought, and again in 2009 due to severe drought, allowing excavation by the Texas Historical Commission. The underwater ghost town, once home to 50 families, with pecan orchards and cornfields, revealed tombstones, a cotton gin, homes, a bank, and a hotel. The waters, rising due to the Buchanan Dam's completion in 1937, usually cover the ruins, submerged under 30 feet. Despite periodic resurfacing, heavy rains in 2016 returned Old Bluffton underwater. While locals hope high lake levels persist, concealing the historical site. Igatosaur remains. In the UK's Rutland County, researchers unearthed a monumental 180-year-old Igatosaur fossil. Hailed as a significant discovery, the largest and most complete of its kind in the UK, the 33-foot specimen of Timidorosus trichondon is the first of its species found in Britain. Discovered during routine landscaping work, the fossil, weighing one ton, was excavated by a team led by paleontologist Dean Lomax. Described as a career highlight, Lomax emphasizes its exceptional size and completeness, speculating on potential revelations as the fossil undergoes further examination, including the possibility of preserving the Ichthyosaur's last meal or signs of pregnancy. Roman Fort the remains of Castro Candes, an ancient Roman fort in Spain's Galatia region, have emerged due to severe drought, lowering reservoir levels. Submerged by a reservoir, the castle now reveals its streets and structures. This occurrence is alarming amid Spain's fourth driest year on record, with reservoirs at 35% capacity. Drone footage showcases the exposed fort offering a glimpse of the tiered walls. The region's historical reliance on Roman aqueducts underscores water scarcity concerns, with climate change predicting decertification by the century's end. These ruins serve as a poignant warning of impending environmental challenges and the fragility of ancient civilizations. Loch Ness Monster Filmed from a flat overlooking a canal, footage captures a long neck protruding from the water prompting comparisons to the Loch Ness Monster. Josh Hawkins, 25, an IT worker, noticed the mysterious creature while watching the FA Cup Final. Intrigued, he invited friends to speculate on its identity. With the Loch Ness Monster suggested as a possibility, speculation arose about its potential connection to the River Severn and the Gloucester docks, with one Twitter user suggesting it might feed on fish and elvers in the area. The footage has sparked curiosity and humor as locals ponder the nature of the elusive creature. Mysterious Creature A woman of New Orleans captured this mysterious creature on camera while she was at City Park Sculpture Garden. Describing it as serpent-like with unique features, she posted the video on Instagram. That's when the truth was revealed. Internet speculation suggested that it was a genetically modified carp fish. Yep. The so-called Loch Ness Monster was actually a mutated fish. Soon after the speculations, city park officials began examining the footage and collaborating with aquatic experts to identify the species. Buddhist Statue 
Plummeting water levels in China's Yangtze River caused by a regional drought and heat wave uncovered a submerged island in Chungking. On the island called Falang, three 600-year-old Buddhist statues were discovered, including one depicting a monk on a lotus pedestal. The Yangtze reduced water levels result from a 45% decrease in rainfall since July and prolonged high temperatures. Kunqing witnesses 66 rivers in 34 countries drying up. Europe experiencing a prolonged drought revealed archaeological treasures like Spain's Spanish Stonehenge and the exposed hulks of over 20 German warships. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This strange image reminded me of several rivers that have been turning red. Yes, over the past few years, there have been many reports of water changing its color. Canals in the Netherlands, Bondi Beach in Australia, and a river in Russia. While there may have been many prophecies relating to the strange color, scientists claim there is no need to worry as this phenomenon occurs due to algae. The excessive growth of certain types of algae, particularly red or rust-colored algae, can give water a red appearance. Algal blooms are often fueled by nutrient runoff from agricultural areas. Another reason could be the red tide. It is a harmful algal bloom that releases toxins into the water, affecting marine life and water color. See you next time!